Welcome, welcome to another episode of Glorious Life on Wheels. So many of you have written to me telling me that you are no longer able to pay the ever-increasing rents you are facing and you just don't know what to do. Many of you have shared that you have no other option than to move into your car and you are scared and have no clue on how to go about doing that. In this video, Tim from Mo Bang Fo Yo Buck's YouTube channel shows how he converted a teeny tiny Toyota Scion into a micro camper. Inside, he has running water, a cook stove, and a bathroom, all in a space much smaller than that of most bathrooms in small apartments. So come on and see if you can't get some great ideas from Tim's build to use in a possible build of your own on a budget. Well, hello, Tim. Hi, Carol. I am just so impressed by what you have done with this teeny tiny Scion that you've made into a camper. It's unbelievable. But before we get there, I'd like to hear a little bit about your story. You came over to the United States from Vietnam in 1979? That's correct. And you were telling me you fled for your lives, you and your family, as the communists were taking Vietnam over again. Yes, we did. Now, your father, you were saying, worked for an American contractor, so your lives were in jeopardy? Yes, Carol. Yeah, he, uh, he, he actually fled from communists in 1954, but then again, 1975, when the South Vietnam fall, we had to find a way to get out of the country again. So he fled from North Vietnam to South Vietnam in 54. Yes. So you have a real first-hand understanding of what's happening over in Afghanistan right now. Yeah, that's, that's uh, chaos going on. It's exactly the same way it is back then. And you were telling me that you had to figure out how to get through patrols and to the port because you escaped on a shipping boat to Malaysia and then were flown from Malaysia by the military over to the United States. Yes, we, it took us three, nine, two day on a fishing, little tiny fishing boat to get to Malaysia. And then we stay in Malaysia for nine months before we come to the United States. So you're used to living under very difficult circumstances, so you know how to make things work. Well, Tim, how about you open the back and show us exactly how your little house on wheels is set up? Okay. Right here is my bed. Okay, so now this is your bed. I see that you have your front seat moved up. So that gives you a little extra space. Yes. And then you lie here and it goes all the way back to the area that would typically be the, trunk. I guess the trunk. Okay. okay. And now when you're driving, you have a few containers that are on top where your feet are. But when you go to bed at night, you move those into the front seat. That's or right, onto this. Everything has to be moved to the front. Okay. So now what, what does your bed consist of? You don't need to show us, just tell us. It's a it's, uh, self-inflated air mattress okay and uh, some foam for some for camping okay and there's okay and then you have it inside a sleeping bag here yes inside okay. a sleeping bag all right and then so if you're going to be cooking and doing other things how would you do this i see how you're sleeping now so how are you cooking and doing everything else around here. Where do you have all your cooking supplies stored? So the cooking supplies is in the back. I will have to fold this. I will show you. Well, let, let's, see the, let's see the cooking supplies and where your storage is in the back. Just so my Globies know, this is gonna be a no edit video, a no build build and a no edit video. So we'll see how this works out. <laughs> I have a butane stove, Uh huh. my uh, pantry, and my cooking stuff actually this yeah this is so my... what's in your pantry like your dry goods and stuff yes oh, okay and then what's in over there in your cooking supplies what kind of cooking supplies just so people who haven't done this before know what kind of things you cutting bowl 
two plates. This just for heat. So okay. Oil, pan. Oh, okay. Pretty much so, everything you need to cook. All right, and you cook pretty much in that pan. Is that your cooking pan, or do you have another cooking pan? I actually have a lot. See the bowl. Oh, okay. Pan. All right. The pan function as a lid. Oh, lit okay. Also. So you have multi-functioning things. Yes, and I have actually have a, a cast iron pan. Wow, you've got a lot in that little <laughs> <I> tub. <know. laughs> okay. All my spices. Well, as you're putting that back, I'm going to look up here because I see that there's another rack up here. And it looks like this rack is actually what would usually be your trunk cover. Yes, it is. But I use it as my closet area to store my, all my clothing. So you have your clothing and in those three containers? Yes, this is for uh, uh, pen, t-shirt, and underwear, uh -huh. socks, more t-shirt and underwear in here. And then these are cold gear stuff short and stuff like that so i see you also have a power bank here what is the size of that yes covered this is a 330 uh, watt power source that's very compact for that many watts yes it is it's well, more than i need it now what do you use um that to power to uh, charge up all my electronic equipment and running my cooling fan in the front over there now when you say electronic equipment what kind of electronic equipment do you have in this micro <laughs> RV. I already bring along my phone. Oh, okay. That's it. <laughs> Your phone, and then I see you have a fan. Yes. Let me look and see. So, you're, oh wow, I'm standing at the back of the vehicle, but I can really feel a lot of air being circulated and cooled off back here. And we're in over 100 degree weather right now. So wow. Then I see. Oh, oh wow. What a clever way to have your your paper towels stored yeah because i'm walking from here so everything had to be around this circle okay so when you want to cook then you move anything that's in that back seat up to the front you were saying yes i have to move everything to the front in order to be inside here and do okay my cooking. and then you how do you do your cooking first of all i got to get all my cooking stuff from the back okay so you get your cooking stuff let's say you've got your cooking stuff what do you do after you have your cooking stuff? I have to roll this up out of the way. Tuck it in the back. Oh, you this have a like, So you have this as the base of the front part of your, the top part of your bed. And then let me look, what is this? So it's kind of like a, 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 it's very thin. It looks like it's what, a quarter of an inch? Yes. So a quarter of an inch board of some sort. It's a compressed. Uh, pressed, oh, okay. Carbon. And you just have that tied up to your back of your front your passenger seat and you just leave that there yes okay and so this is your then this becomes your countertop yes it is oh my, my goodness so then wow let's see you know what i do want everyone to see your stove on here let's we'll hold we'll hold on for a second and let you get your stove out so this is how you set up and you do your cooking you can have your doors open for ventilation if you want yes you have to have your daughter that way <laughs> you're gonna oh my goodness and then you have easy access to your water up front yes i can do it from here just push the button wow <laughs> and then you're ready to start cooking yep. now you were sharing something to me that i thought was a really good pointer for people especially people just starting out you said that when you're traveling what you will do is you will drive into a walmart parking lot and you will do all of, during the day, or before it gets night, you will um, do all your cooking, you will do everything you need to do, get set up, everything in place, yes. and then you will close everything up and drive over into a residential area, maybe where there's a, a lot of apartments or cars or something, and you will park there and sleep. Yes. So yes. when you get over there, you're so stealth in this, well, well, we'll look at it one more time. You're so stealth in this sign that no one even knows that you're in here sleeping but you do all your prep in a busier place like a Walmart. I think that's really a good practice. Wow, I'm just so impressed. Now, you were telling me this cost you under $100? Yes, under $100. So someone who's on a really tight budget, who just has a little car like this, could get it all outfitted for under $100. Yes, very easy to do. Now that's under $100, not including the power, um, the little power yeah, set. The, the power in it is like 
20 bucks a minute. Okay, but without the power, but could, you can do things that have batteries so you don't need that power. Yeah. Oh can. my goodness. And you know what? We're going to close out, but I'm going to have you put this back into the condition it is if it's just a vehicle and when you have your stuff all put up, your bed all up. So we'll come back. So don't go away, Globies, because we're going to take a picture of that. You know, Tim, before we show it back in passenger mode, I forgot to ask the question that everyone will be asking in the comments if I don't cover. So can you tell us what you do and how do you use the bathroom in your little mini RV? Well, number one, I have this cup to do my business. Number one. So you have a pee bottle. And then number two is a handmade on a chair. From, uh, Amazon. Can you bring that out and show us? And how much was this? Fifteen dollars. So fifteen dollars. You cut out the center, and you said it's better if you cut it out in a circle. Yeah, don't don't do a square like I did. Do, do it, it in a circle. circle. And then you just put a plastic bag on it. Double bag it. Do your business. You're, Tim's demonstrating to us, not a full demonstration. No. <laughs> <laughs> just and you're about how much do you weigh? 160 pounds. And it's very secure for you. Yeah. Wow. Well, we're going to go see it back in passenger mode and back to the stealth. Well, it's already stealth, but even more stealth. Don't go away, Globies. We'll show you what it looks like when he puts it back in passenger mode. So this is the base that you have your bed on and you just take the um, pressed board and you move that to the side and then let's see what you do. You just put it, pull the seat back up. Yeah, just pull it back up. Pull it back up. Go away. And so now you're back where you can carry passengers or if you're somewhere where you can't cover your windows during the day and people, nosy people will be peering in, they won't even be able to see that this is a bed and an RV. That's right. I'm wow. Well, Tim, I tell you what, we have some other things that we're going to be sharing on your channel, some really cool things that you have mocked up and made. So people be watching out for Tim's channel, Mo Bang for Your Bucks, and I'll be doing an announcement soon on when I'm going to be doing a collaboration with Tim on another project. But in the meanwhile, go check Tim's channel out. And those of you who think that you can't camp in anything but an RV or a big cargo van, well, here's proof that you can. See you later, Globies. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe, and do share this out to friends who may not have cargo vans but want to go camping or even are going to need to move into a van or a little, I should say, a little micro, micro RV. Take care. See you all later.